Hey what's up guys, Mike Locke here. So in this video I'm going to go over five things I love about using Adobe Fireworks over Adobe Photoshop for designing websites. Alright, not necessarily for editing photos and images and creating graphics, but necessarily for designing websites. So the first thing that I love about Adobe Fireworks is the fact that by default everything is set up for you that you can easily select items and as you create objects on the page you don't have to worry about actually ever selecting a a, a layer that's locked so basically as I move my pointer across different objects I can easily select them let's go over here to my navigation area and I can easily select them and things are editable okay as you see as I hover over items I can easily select that and uh, manipulate objects as I wish okay um, the second thing I love about Adobe Fireworks is that as you see as I go over items I can easily select these objects and manipulate them as I would in Adobe Illustrator that's because Adobe Fireworks is sort of like a hybrid machine where it handles bitmaps like you would in Photoshop and it also handles vector um, objects as you would see in um, in like uh, Adobe Illustrator so you have the sort of like the best of both worlds so you can come in here and you can create text you can write text and you can create those text and convert those text to paths and easily go in here and manipulate text and things like that if you how you, you know however you wish um, same with boxes you know I can go over here and select a different um, shape as I with my shift key hold shift key down I can select those two items really easily and quickly and come over here to my path um, features or functions and uh, select that I can merge those two objects together pretty easily so that is helpful when you're designing you know logos and icons and things like that in Adobe Fireworks so that's the second thing the third thing I love about Adobe Fireworks is it has its features of pages so as you see here to the right sort of like the layers area in Photoshop you have these new thing called pages so I can come over here and I can have my pages laid out so I can have my pages laid out and I can also have the layers you know it also has a layer section with that so I can man manipulate layers as well but for the pages it's it's cool where I you also have this feature this thing called master pages so for example I have a navigation bar and a navigation and logo and that's going to be the same across the different pages so I have this one master page set up with my navigation bar and as you see these different pages page one page two page three it all has the navigation bar so if I wanted to come in here and let's say change this logo let's say to orange so I can select those two objects I come over here and I can change that to orange and as I click on the different pages that logo change is now affected across the board so that's pretty cool um, I can go back up in here and change that back to gray because I like that so that's cool and so that's you know taking effect across the different pages fourth thing I like is the fact that you have this this feature also for creating symbols so for example let's say I wanted to use this new icon and I had something that I wanted to use across the site in different pages and uh, what I can do is select those two objects right click and just do a convert to symbol let's just call that new icon so I can copy this now across different sections let's see I can copy it there I can also go to this page here I can paste it down let's see that one and that one so let's say now I have this icon across my mockups and I needed to change make a change to this icon let's say I wanted to to change this into uh, a brown or something a darker brown so I can do something like that and as I go back that change in that symbol is now taking effect across the board so as I click on this page the symbol has changed okay so it allows me to create symbols like 
like so let's say you're creating like a footer I can make this footer into a symbol and as I change make changes to my footer page uh, or my footer symbol it's you know can be taken effect across the different pages that I've created alright so that's the fourth thing the last thing I love about Adobe Fireworks is that you have these pages and now I can easily with my hotspot tool here I can create links to the different pages so I can create a hotspot here and uh, I can link this hotspot to page 2 and on page 2 I can create a hotspot let's say with this uh, with this button here and I can link that to page 3 to the details page and on my details page I can create a link or hotspot you know let's say home page or this logo and I want that to go back to the home page page 1 and then I can go file and I can do preview in browser I can also upload this to my server but I can preview all the pages and uh, let's say it comes up here and now as I click on this link here men it takes me to the product page as I click on this hotspot link here it takes me to the details page and then I can go back and click on the link here it takes me back to home page so as you can see you can sort of build out these links and uh, have them link to different pages on your mockups and you know upload this to a server and then uh, get sign off from your client or whoever it is that you're trying to design the site for see if they like it and then you can come back into Adobe Fireworks and make changes as you see wish so as you see uh, a lot of the things you can do in Fireworks you can do the same things in Photoshop uh, in different ways uh, but the workflow is just set up perfectly for designing websites and it's just so easy to to manage things in Adobe Fireworks I feel uh, than it is in Adobe Photoshop so if you're starting out in web design, you're not sure where to go, I would advise you to take a look at Adobe Fireworks. I've been using it now for over 10 years um, since uh, Adobe, or since Fireworks was a macromedia product. And uh, I just use it extensively for all my designs. You can go to my website, uh, you know, mlwebco.com, look at my portfolio, and everything that I have here is designed with uh, using, using uh, Adobe Fireworks. So. Hopefully this was helpful. You learned a little bit from uh, some of the things, the features that Adobe Fireworks can do. And uh, thanks for watching. Maybe, maybe you start looking at it. All right. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk soon. Look out for more videos. Thanks.